Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and one of the things that uh, you might want to take a look at and I recommend that you do this every time there's a new version of Windows as we'll get into the May 2020 update. One of the things that I think is important to take a look at is your privacy settings in Windows 10. So depending on what you do and depending on the level of privacy you want, there are different little switches. Unfortunately, sometimes it happens uh, that you actually upgrade to a new version. Some settings might change. In general, they should not, but you never know. And of course, if you do a clean install, all your settings, your privacy settings, are of course reset to the default that Microsoft wants you to actually use. One of the first ones that I will once again talk about here is the privacy setting for the diagnostics data. So go into your settings and in your settings you will of course go to the privacy tab and here you have diagnostics and feedback. They've changed the wording a little bit on the way that it's actually uh, telling you what it is. You have two types of diagnostics when you'll be at the uh, May 2020 update, basic and full. Once again, a lot of people ask me what that actually means. Now, for the most part, if you're um, a little bit, um, you know, scared about what the information that can be sent to Microsoft, you can, of course, go and put that uh, full, which is automatically at full, by the way, to basic. By doing this, you will have just the basics that are going to be sent out. And that means that you'll have only some information sent out of diagnostics of app crashes and usage of your PC. You cannot turn it off. Once again, this is something that since Windows 10 has started in 2015, a lot of people have been asking, well, you know, we should be able to turn this off. Remember one thing, are all the people going crazy over this? Remember that your phone, if you have an Android phone or a iPhone with from Apple, they all send diagnostics data and you cannot turn it off. It There's always a minimum. It's nothing different here. So, you know, uh, I don't know why people go that crazy over the fact that it's in Windows and that there's some data going out. Once again, uh, a lot of people are always complaining and saying, well, you're wrong. Remember that this cannot be linked to you. It can be linked to a specific user ID uh, number, but they don't know that it's you specifically, the user at home with that PC. It's really anonymized once it's up there. A lot of you have been showing me the uh, in terms of use and, and the general contract from uh, all of this and been saying, well, no, no, that's not what it says here. Yes, it is. It tells you that the data sent out is, of course, uh, linked to a number. It's not telling you that it's linked to you. It's linked to a number. So you have, you know, kind of a file, if you want, on Microsoft with the diagnostics. That file is not, doesn't refer to you in any way. But all the problems, all the things that goes out with the diagnostics is sent to that same file, which means that they are able to see that the same user might have the same problem multiple times, but they don't know what user it is. They can't pin it back to you. So um, that's, you know, whatever you want to believe, but uh, this is the way Microsoft does it. You know, I get this all the time. Oh, Microsoft scoop all the data and blah, blah, and sends it to, you know, the government. And no, they don't. And they have no, absolutely no reason to do it, actually. There's nothing interesting for them with that. And the only reason this exists is really to try to have as much information about Windows itself and the errors and the problems to fix things. It's basically information to help them have Windows 10 working uh, as best as possible. But you can, of course, have basic and full. And you might want wonder, well, why do they give us a choice if it's all anonymized? 
one of the things that could happen in full that is not going to happen in basic is that if there's a crash and they actually take a kind of a, they'll take the RAM, for example, the, your, your RAM memory, they'll take a kind of a, that data that's stored in there. Well, if you were doing something sensitive, it's not impossible that RAM might contain um, an email or your name or some sensitive information. That's something that cannot happen if you're at basic because they don't take as much information. So by accident, yes, full data could send something that links you or is very sensitive. But that said, even then, it's linked anonymously at the Microsoft servers. So, you know, you could put this to basic. And um, if you just want to make sure and you're, you know, I'm always leaving it at full because I don't really mind. But it's up to you to just choose which one you want to use. So remember to look at the diagnostics and feedback um, and uh, to make sure that it's at the level that you would like to have. And, you know, uh, basically, uh, if you want to learn more, well, you can learn more at the Microsoft website, whether you believe or not the information that is in there. Like I said, nothing worse here than uh, what your phone does all the time. It, uh, it, it, it's not, uh, you know, people going crazy over this are going crazy for nothing. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.